Hey guys, welcome back to Keeping Up With Cam. So today's video, we are going to be giving you a little bit of a twofer. I'm going to be giving you two protective styles that I absolutely love when it comes to Cam and his hair. Um, these are just when we know we're not going out or going anywhere uh, important. I put these in his hair just to keep it healthy, keep it from getting matted, and just a little bit of extra protection with this, you know, winter weather that's coming up. So we hope you like them and you choose the best one that works for you and your kitties. So I'm starting off using the wide tooth part of the comb just to comb out through all the hair. Like I usually say that I love doing his hair when it is two day old. Um, that way it's stretched out. Um, his curls aren't tight and it's just a lot easier to work with. So this hair was washed two days ago and now we're going through it. It is collecting dust. I honestly don't know why it does that. His hair is not dirty, not in the least. Um, if you guys go through this as well, let me know in the comment section below if you know why. It's just really weird. <laughs> um, so after I comb it through, I'm going to now part it down the middle. You're going to part down the middle for either um, hairstyle that you choose. So whether you go with side A or side B, you're still going to need a straight center part. Seeing as his hair wasn't washed today, I'm just going in with some olive oil to add a little bit of moisture to his scalp and to go over the hair, give it a little bit of shine, um, make it a little easier to work with. So now I'm taking the smaller side of the comb and I'm going to part from his ear into the middle, um, horizontally through that first section of hair. Um, this part doesn't have to be too precise, it's just kind of a guideline for the two braids that we're going to do on this side just to make sure that it's even and um, parted correctly so don't worry too much about getting it straight just make sure that it goes from the right end to the right end So after sectioning that back portion, I'm going to start with the top. Um, I'm going to go from the middle to the front just to get a rough uh, line. And then I'm going to go from the front back down to the middle to straighten it out. I've always just kind of done this way when it comes to cam because I find it a little bit easier to make sure that the lines are straight and make sure that the braids look equal um, with his, you know, small head. <laughs> um he moves around quite a bit and his hair texture it's just easier for me to part for braids in this way than just doing it normal parting if it's like an adult head You guys already know my number one Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Curling Butter Cream. It is the truth. I am not taking this out of my hair regimen for Cam anytime soon, if at all, ever. This thing works wonders. It is literally my staple product. It's so good for so many reasons. I do use other things in addition to it, but I'll never, ever get rid of it. So now we're just going to braid like we would normally braid. You start off with three sections in the front and you're going to take the pieces over and under each other. Um, I think I explained this a little bit easier in a previous video. If you guys want a full tutorial on how to braid, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I can definitely do that. I have seen a couple people um, saying that they don't know how to do it. So just let me get, let me know guys if you want a video on it and I'll definitely give you a better tutorial on braiding.
and you're just going to continue doing these braids um, through the whole head if this is the side that you choose to redo. So it will be four braids in total, two on each side. You do the uh, part through the middle for both of them and it will line up accordingly. Like you can see, you can't even see the part in the middle, but it just helps as kind of a, a brace to let you know where you should be going while you're braiding. When it comes to this protective style, um, it doesn't last forever, especially if their hair texture is the same as Cam's, but it is super easy to redo. Um, once you have these done, I could redo these in like five minutes, not even. So I do redo them a couple times a week or however long I'm leaving the style in, um, and it keeps his hair protected the whole time. All right, so we are on to style number two. So we're going to do the same part across uh, the half of the section. So we're going to go from the ear towards the middle of the head. Um, this one, you will want it to be straight um, because it is essentially a part of the style. So, I mean, if you really don't care, you can have it kind of wonky, uh, but I prefer to have it as straight as I could get it. So once you have that back part sectioned off, you're going to just comb through it all together, making sure that you get all the little knots out and that the hair is um, as tangle free as possible. Be easy with it. Make sure it's moisturized if need be. When that's all done, you're just going to add an elastic to it. So you're going to make that one big part in the back. The bigger these are, the better because you're not really trying to make a style. You're not trying to make it all intricate. You just want to keep the hair in place, keep it um, together and moisturized and just away from the elements. I just want to take the time out to thank all of our new subscribers. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing to Cam's channel. We hope you like the content that we've put out so far. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, any things that you want to see on here, please hit us up in the comment section below. We'll definitely uh, get those videos out for you guys and get those questions answered. For those of you who are watching for the first time, please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Also, thumbs up this video if you like it. Share this video with your friends and family and leave us a comment in the comment section below to let us know you are here. Thanks, guys.
Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a talk through when it comes to plaiting the hair. So you have a left, a right, and a middle piece. So you're going to take the piece that's on the left side. It's going to go underneath the right side with the middle piece out of the way. Then you're going to take that middle piece, you're going to put it underneath the right side. Then you're going to take that left piece and it's going to go underneath the middle piece. Then it's going to be the side on the right underneath the middle piece. Then that middle piece comes out of the way. You're going to take the piece on the left and it's going to go underneath the middle piece. Piece on the left underneath the middle underneath the middle that's essentially the motion you're just taking from the left and the right and you're putting the pieces underneath the middle piece i don't know if i'm making it more difficult for you guys and if i am i apologize um but i have slowed down the video and i've zoomed it in so i'm hoping that for those of you who are visual learners, that gives you a better understanding of how to plait the hair uh, evenly. Now with this tropical isle living 100% natural Jamaican black castor oil, we're going to go through the parts, we're going to go through the back, we're going to go through the sides, add this in, um, and making we're going to make sure to massage it in as well. That just helps with growth, helps with keeping the, the hair and the scalp moisturized, and just keeps the hair healthy. Now for the most important part of a protective style is the hydration. So you're adding in the water, I'm just spraying it over his head and massaging it in. That way it keeps the hair um, hydrated and keeps the style fresh. So this is the final look guys. This is what it would look like if you had the two braids, which would be four for the whole head, or the four plaits, which would be eight for the whole head. Like I said, the best way to keep their hair growing and healthy is to use protective styles. Winter is approaching. Please use one or both of these and uh, let your friends and family know as well. This works for adults, not just the kitties, I promise. And uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.